Hello, my name is Connie Baker. I'm Executive Director of Allegheny Highlands Arts and Crafts Center, and I wanted to just welcome you to the center. We are holding three campaigns, one uh, for education, one for exhibition, and one for a capital campaign, which goes along with our mission statement, which is to promote visual arts through education, exhibitions, and marketing. This center has been here since 1984. We've been welcoming visitors like over 9,000 every year um, to the center from all over, local and uh, all across the United States. Even some people from uh, foreign countries have come for a visit and we have many repeat visitors. The shop has several different kinds of artwork here. We have anything from oil and watercolor to sculpture and wood carving and jewelry and weaving. There's just about anything you might want to find here uh, in the shop. We offer exhibits that are varied in style and technique and medium. They're always good. They last four to six weeks. Um, they're free. Um, we also offer classes and uh, education and workshops from children that are in grade school through adulthood and just older youth. Several different kinds of classes and workshops are offered here. Good morning. This is the back of the Art Center and the way you get in from the back. We have parking places back here, here for the paid staff and for volunteers. And I don't know, about 18 months ago, the steps board started popping up. So the nails weren't holding. We had them all screwed in and now the screws are popping up. So the stringers are not holding screws. It needs to be replaced. We had someone look at it. They said the whole thing needs to be replaced. So this is part of our giving community ask. We're a nonprofit. We don't have money just lying around to do things like this. So we're asking for your help to put this in shape so it's not dangerous to the folks who use it. And maybe even it's more aesthetically pleasing when someone's driving down the street behind the art center. One of our Give Local campaigns is for art experiences for people that cannot come to the center. These off-site classes would be a way to further our mission of promoting education and visual arts. We believe there are many reasons why creating art is important. For children, it helps with human development by understanding difficult concepts and providing problem solving visually while working with hands-on art tools and techniques. Creating allows children to be free to express themselves away from rule following. For people of any age, art is helpful in emotional and mental challenges. It enhances our well-being by giving us a productive focus in place of our problems. There is something healing and liberating about letting go of the cares of life by just enjoying creating art. It brings us a sense of calmness and peace. And of course, art just for beauty's sake alone adds to our lives as we appreciate visually pleasing works of art. You just can't help but smile. We hope you too will see the importance of art as Allegheny Highlands Arts and Crafts Center does. Thank you. Hello. I'm Betsy Carter. I'm a volunteer here at the Allegheny Highlands Arts and Crafts Center. And as a volunteer, I have gotten to come and visit art camp. Oh, it is so much fun. The kids are everywhere. And Karen Thomas, the teacher, has so many different kinds of things for them to do. It provides an opportunity for some children who have never been to camp to go to camp and as well as to give a vent to their artistic leanings.
how did you become interested in volunteering at the center and why do you enjoy it? Well, okay, I became interested because I've always been interested in art. Um, I have absolutely no talent in that regard. Uh, so it seemed to me the next best thing to visiting galleries, which I did a lot of as a kid growing up, um, to work as a volunteer in one. So if I couldn't make art or produce art, at least I could help those who do. Okay, okay. So where, where did you begin viewing and, and visiting? Well, I was, I was lucky enough to grow up in northern New Jersey. So New York City was basically my playground. So there were any number of um, museums. The Metropolitan Museum of Art of, was a favorite of mine. And there were endless galleries downtown around, at that time, around um, what's known as uh, Washington Square and Sheridan Square. And so I would just walk from one gallery into another and just try to engage anybody who was there, particularly if they knew anything about art. So, um, and it just continued. And so I was lucky enough to travel uh, when I was younger. So I got to see any number of galleries in, and museums in other places. So that was also very helpful. So. I'm happy to talk about the Allegheny Highlands Arts and Crafts Center. I was lucky enough to be here in 1984 when it opened its doors and to find it to be a wonderful place for gifts for my family when there really wasn't many other places to shop in Clifton Forge. I think the Allegheny Highlands Arts and Crafts Center has been a real boon to the downtown and to the whole region because when you see those Allegheny Highlands Arts and Crafts Center signs on the interstate, you know that it's a place worth going to see, and it is. I have bought over the past decades, I don't know how many thousands of dollars of gifts, all of which have been appreciated. And I'll just share a little story about my son, who at now at 41 came back this summer. This is the one place he wanted to come in Clifton Forge to shop. So I think that says an awful lot about the history that this place has with people um, and the importance of keeping it going in every way we can.